In a woodsy setting like this, it's not uncommon on bad weather days to have a few trees go down and take out the power lines. And that sets up the scenario for some really bad conditions. For instance, your HVAC goes out in the wintertime, it could freeze all your pipes, all of your food gets spoiled in the refrigerator, and of course you have no security system when the power's down. So uh, we're going to remedy that situation. That's where an automatic home backup generator can be a great idea. A unit like this will run on propane like we've got here, or natural gas if that's what you've got. There's a few electrical connections as well to get the automatic transfer switches properly hooked up. So we've had Bob Kramer on hand to get us all squared away on that, as well as our electrician, Brad Parker. So we have Art Aiello with us today. He's been helping us get things set up here. So what is exactly a standby generator? Explain to everybody. Well, a standby generator is a permanently installed backup power system for your home. It turns on automatically in the event of a power outage. It can back up either the most important appliances that you have in your home, or it can be configured to back up your entire home uh, for the entire duration of a power outage. So once the power comes on again, it will turn off as you're operating under the regular power again. The electronics in the unit will sense when the utility power returns. It will turn off, transfer power back to utility power, and it'll wait for the next power outage. And the setup of these is, is really pretty straightforward. It is. It's not a do-it-yourself project. You do need to have either a professional dealer or a licensed electrician to come in and install it for you. But essentially, it is a matter of finding the location on the outside of the home where you want to install it. You have the electrician uh, install the transfer switch for you in the base. You will have a licensed plumber run your fuel line, whether that's an LP fuel supply as we have here, or a natural gas fuel supply. Uh, it is something that in most cases uh, can be done in a day. And what's great about this is for a vacation home, when you're not up here and the power goes out, you know, you're not around here to, to do something about it and your pipes can freeze and everything else. That's right. And unlike a portable generator, which you would have to turn on and off manually, this unit functions completely automatically whether you're here or away. So our unit is 20 kW. Does that mean it can and pretty much operate the entire home in, in a power outage? Yes. A 20 kW unit is probably our most popular unit uh, because it can uh, in most cases back up all of the appliances in your home. In this case, this unit has a load management transfer switch which will monitor the amount of power that you're using at any given time and if it senses that you're drawing too much power and is going to be overloaded, it'll shed the most power hungry appliances which in most cases tend to be your central air conditioner. Sure. It'll turn those off, it'll wait until power is available and then it'll turn them back on again. So that way you can back up all of the appliances in your home with a small generator. And then of course you can also use a portable generator but then that won't turn on automatically for you. That's correct. A portable generator is always an option. Uh, many people will use them in an emergency when the power is out and they don't have a backup power supply. But you do have to run uh, uh, extension cords to your appliances. Unless you're using a manual transfer switch, which you can install on your home, um, you can't back up appliances that are uh, that are wired, hardwired to your home like your furnace. Well, I'll tell you, I'm glad this thing is hooked up uh, you know, that whole scenario of the power going out and especially in the winter, your pipes start freezing up. I mean, that is, 